Now Jesus stood before the governor, and he questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? Say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear the coming of Jesus that you are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. The governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which of the two shall I give to you? Barabbas or Jesus called Christ? For he knew it was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, Which of the two shall I give you? They answered, said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus called Christ? They all said, Crucify him! But Pilate replied, Why? What evil has this man taught? They only shouted the louder, Let me crucify! When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, he took the water and washed his hands in sight of the crowd, saying, Some of the bystanders said in reply, They fall in upon us and upon our children. Then he released Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified.
they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. They gave Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. Thank you. 